Okay, so now that you've learned your inversions on your right hand, let's talk about the bass at the bottom, okay? So bass, a good way of doing it is just octaves. It's super simple and it helps you focus on your right hand as you add in the left hand. So for the key of uh, C, when you're doing a C chord, you just do the octave, which is a C at the bottom and a C at the top, okay? So again, you can just play your bass with your uh, inversions and practice your inversions like this. And then the F, so the four. The five, let's do a three, five, one. Three, five, one. Five, one, three. And then just an octave down at the C. And just keep working on those inversions, right? That's gonna help you uh, get better with your right hand. So on the left hand, um, you've got those, those, those bass notes and that's really gonna help you as you're listening to music, find the bass note and just try to find your bass notes. And when you listen to a song, you may start seeing this. And when you see a C and an F and a G, you're gonna learn over time, you're gonna recognize that as a one, four, five of the scale of C. And you're gonna know that you're in C and know that the odds of you hitting one, four, and five, a six minor, and a three minor are pretty, uh, are pretty good. So you're gonna figure out um, keys as you start to listening to songs. Okay, so let's add a little bit of complexity here to uh, what we've learned so far. On the bass, here's your, here's your uh, octave. What I add a lot of is the, is the five, okay? So you can do, you can roll it. That is a very nice bass, and you can do that as you uh, do your inversions. So you can go. Do four, and again, you're gonna hit the five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, five, one, okay? And then do your inversions. And then back to the C, one, five, one. One, five, one. Again, you seeing how these scales are, are so important? One, two, three, four. See, I'm not even doing the scales right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's one, five, one. That's why those scales are important, is you you can always know what you're supposed to do when you're counting out those notes. One, five, one. So then we're gonna do the inversions of our C. So then one final thing on the bass that you can start adding is a one and a two and a three at the top. So if you're doing a one, five, one, add the two and the three on the bass. And you can do different patterns of that, but that is a really nice pattern for every note that you play in a, in a scale. So one, four, and five, you can add the top two and three. So. Rotate your wrist a little bit. See, I'm going back to the five. And or you can just do it like that, straight up and down, or you can go up to the to the three and then back. So this is something you can work on with your left hand because once you figure that out, you can start doing the keyboards, the chords like this. So work on that, one, five, one, two, three, in whatever uh, way that you want, and then start adding your chords into it a little bit. 